morning everybody i've been trying to make this video for a week <laughs> oh i can't see it real good it's kind of got a shade cast across my garden right now but, uh, got my corn up and i planted a lot of other things if <laughs> i can remember what it is i got sunflowers planted next to the corn row then I put some cucumbers over here and uh, some squash over in this area. My green beans have uh, come up pretty good. They'll just start growing these nights and then they'll warm up. And uh, I'm trying to think what I put in this row. I didn't label anything. That's what I do. <laughs> oh, what was it? I think this. Uh, there was two rows of uh, iron and clay cow peas. And uh, I think uh, a row of okra. And, uh, I don't know, we got three inches of rain after I planted everything. We got a tomato plants out. And I just put 31 plants out this year. And then I've got uh, a couple of rows of uh, red rippers. I think they're coming up. Down there. I think that's <coughs> red rippers. <laughs> and I got some radishes over here. Oh, got my pepper plants in. They're going to share these trellises <laughs> with, with a few of the English peas. And then the onions. I need to weed that, that onion row. Strawberries over here. Got some blooms. Got a pretty good breeze blowing out here this morning. Need to mow. Need to do a lot of things. Got some, uh, got some strawberries in here if I can keep the, the critters out of them. There's just a few of them. They're just getting started. I've got this bird netting over them. Put this wire along the top and that bird netting just goes over both sides of it just to keep the birds out of it. Yeah, I see a, see a few in there. I might have to get out here after a while. Hopefully they'll be right. That's one thing about strawberries. You don't want to pick them green. They may turn red, but they sure are not going to be very sweet. Uh, muscadines are leafing out. They'll be blooming pretty soon. Got a lot of things to do. Mostly mowing. I hate mowing. It hurts my arms. But I've been working on my greenhouse. Old CB greenhouse and garden. CB and Renee's greenhouse and garden. Uh, he uh, kind of put shame on me. Uh, he had his so uh, organized and clean. <laughs> I'm beginning to wonder if mine was even a greenhouse. I run down here to this other end. I, I had that commercial grade weed barrier down here last year and it stopped a lot of weeds. But I still had some uh, that rooted down from the top. I got some black plastic down here to try to seal this grass down. I want to eventually make Probably some straw bales. Might, probably not going to be this year, but I'm going to uh, eventually make some straw bale gardens to, uh, here. But I've got these uh, plastic tubs I'm trying to hold this plastic down. And I'm going to do away with some of these, these other raised beds there. But I've got some, uh, some garlic here and some leeks over there. Winds were cool. As you can see, it's not sunrise, but about 7 30 out here. I got to turn the chickens out too. Check my, my varmint traps. Let's uh, run in here in the greenhouse right quick. Oh. 
I doubled up my, my shade cloth. Did you tell where it starts? <laughs> Maybe too dark. I'm going to turn this, this fan off anyway. Maybe we can hear. I still got to work on this side of the greenhouse. I've got to do something with all these containers and seed starting stuff. I lowered down this shelf. It was uh, a little bit higher. I'm trying to get it away from the, the heat up here. I don't know. We'll see how that works out. And uh, I've got some of this. This is the uh, weed berry I had out, out there at the end of the garden I was telling you about. I'm going to eventually move it all across the, uh, the greenhouse. I'm going to do a phase some of these containers out and I'm use those big tubs in here. But I lowered these down. They're just on an 8 inch cinder block or cement block, whatever you want to call it. But uh, I had a weed problem and I don't, I don't want to put chickens in here. Uh, most everything's starting to bolt. I don't think uh, the cauliflower is going to do anything. These are bug catchers. They get a little sticky stuff on them. Uh, Swiss chard. I've been eating on it. I don't juice any of it. I just use it as a lettuce. This is some dill. I just started some dill in here. I'm going to be uh, processing that, drying it down, freezing it whatever I need to do for, for later use. I wanted to show you this, this big old mustard plant over there before I tore it out. And I've got some cabbages in here also. But it may be too hot in here. This is some more mustard over here. And my spinach, it's fixing all the uh, Go seed on me. I picked a bunch of it off yesterday. I'm gonna make use that and taco salad. And I got a little carrot bed here in this tote. Here's my, my avocado tree. <laughs> I'll probably never get an avocado off of it. Uh, this there was a, a bench up here, same height as, as this uh, other benches here. This is the north side. I, I put this styrofoam on it uh, just to try to block some of that cold north wind in the winter time. But I still left uh, left it where the sun could shine through it. But, uh, here's my my big old mustard plant. Look at the size of those leaves. Those those leaves are huge. That was just a seed that I dropped on the ground. That'd make a mess of mustard right there. Uh, some little gem lettuce growing in some totes. Put some lettuce too. It's fixing the seed. This was this is some little carrots. This is another cauliflower. It's pretty good size. Just growing in this little old short tub. I know a lot of this is crowded out. I picked uh, the tomatoes yesterday. I had some tomatoes in here getting ripe. This is the darkest uh, part of the greenhouse. See, it may be uh, too dark. Well, I got some uh, turmeric. That's the way I hear people say it on television. Turmeric. These are some little onions. These are some, some onions from last year. I've already pulled a couple of them. Uh, i got some garlic chives here. These are some uh, Egyptian walking onions. They're, uh, they're fixing to uh, send up their little, little seed heads. Uh, aloe vera. They've repotted. Oh, there's some little small tomatoes. 
This is uh, this is one of those suckers, what people call suckers, or lateral branches. You can see what's coming out here. You can see the tomatoes on it. So they do produce tomatoes. Got a lot of containers under here. I'm, I'm never going to use. I did have a, a little garden store uh, quite a few years ago. And this, some of this stuff was, was left over that uh, I didn't sell when I shut the store down. So I got to clean all this mess up and uh, I'm just one, going to use one area for, for my seed starting stuff. And I'll, uh, I'll make some, uh, some more growing areas on this uh, end of it. I think these are 10 foot, maybe. I think it'll be another 10 foot here. It's going to be kind of kind of shaded, so I'll probably put... Trying not to spin y'all around so bad. I'll probably put cool season stuff over here on the north side of my greenhouse, just uh, so maybe it you know, won't bolt so quick or go to seed. And I got a sink over here. I've got to, I've got to run my, my water hose to. Some wiggle wire. I got to, got to put somewhere out of the way. But I'll eventually have this uh, weed barrier all over the floor and maybe stop a lot of grass from growing uh, in here. Anyway, this is my, my greenhouse uh, project. Well, once all this stuff gets done, then I'll start working in the middle and work my way to the to the north side. See, this mustard is, uh, is going to seed. It's got its little flowers up here. Of course, the bees can't get in here. You don't want bees in a greenhouse because they'll go to the roof trying to get out. They, they won't know to go out a door because all they'll see is the light the light shining through the greenhouse plastic so they'll uh, wear themselves out and die trying to get out. So don't put honeybees in the greenhouse. 